Okay guys, so we're installing this Hive Mini today uh, to this Vaquera boiler. Now, customer ended up buying the heating and hot water one. The problem we have connecting that one to this boiler is that this boiler has volt-free contacts uh, that's connected in here. The old receiver, as you can see, we have permanent live and neutral. And what's connected to CN5 connector within the boiler are those two blacks connected to two and three currently. So these are volt-free contacts, which means we can't use the hive hot water and heating as the contacts on this one are all 230, they're not bolt free. So we've got a one stock of Hive uh, mini heat only thermostats as well. So we're just swapping that for customer and we'll be using uh, the heating only as this has volt free contacts. Uh, the very first thing we normally do is we connect the hub uh, and power it up. So once we're changing the thermostat, it's normally going through the firmware update, etc. Uh, on the receiver itself is the typical setup. It asks, can you just open this receiver cover for me? As always, he's the man doing the job. So on the receiver base we've got neutral live one two three four. There is a tiny little diagram on this as you can see. So we have neutral live one and two are normally closed and three will so one be in common and with three it will be normally open. So that's what we connected to. So it's gonna go between one and three. Uh, we can quickly test it as well if we didn't have that diagram for any reason and let's assume we wanted to find a break. check to make sure which contacts are normally closed and which contacts are normally open we can do that using the continuity setting and our tester as well. So the first two are live and neutral. The one next to it, the third one, becomes number one. So number one and number two, I'm expecting it to be normally closed, as you can see. And number one and number three is normally open, so that's not going to have any beep on it. So one and three, so that's normally open. So that's what we're going to connect it to. I'll pass it on to him. You can just do that. Let me have a quick look. So we have neutral live and then we have one and three connected there. Again, bearing in mind it's volt free. I just need to put batteries in it. Batteries that I but uh, we can't turn it on yet. Because they want it mounted anyway. 
Uh, we'll check that with the customer. Uh, is that the hub? It has to flush. Orange. It is flushing green right now. So it's just going through its update. Whilst the customer has created an account. Okay, so now that we have a flashing orange light on the hub, we are ready to turn the power on on the receiver. That's flashing. So that's flashing, so that's in pairing mode. And he's just removed the battery tab. On the thermostat as well. I'll search for about 30 seconds and then it'll, it'll pair. Okay, if everything's alright. Searching. So basically, now the hub, receiver, and thermostat are all in pairing mode. It usually takes about 30 seconds. I'll switch from searching to pairing. Mm -hmm. It's gone over your 30 seconds this time, just so 35, 36, 37, 38. You look away and then it'll work. <laughs> We're going to keep staring at it. There we go, it's done something. I didn't say paired, I said it's done something. <coughs> I think it's done it. Yeah, it's done it. Then it's time to search for about what, one minute and 20 yeah. seconds? Something like that. a bit quicker. I don't think it's best, but Okay, so pairing successful, receiver light screen and hub light is solid green there, so it's not flashing anymore. So 22 degree actual temperature. I think that's just because it was in my hand. Yeah, it's fairly warm here now anyway, so let's just create the demand. So obviously we need to go above the current temperature. There we go, all sorted. Perfect, and now it's just a matter of connecting it to the customer's phone, to their app, and just demonstrate how it works. That's another job done. Thanks for watching.